Hello and welcome back to the PHP Beginners course. In this session, we'll have a look at the for each loop in PHP. Uh, so we'll provide you some examples and then look how potentially we can use this to output information from a database. So as I alluded to there, the for each construct, it provides us an easy way of iterating over arrays and objects. So essentially we can loop through each key value pair in an array, for example. As I gave an example, information we return from a database, um, that can be looped through and outputted to the screen. So here we have two syntaxes for the for each construct, uh, the array expression as value statement and array expression as key value statement. Okay, so that might not make sense. And I guess at this point that's okay because you can come back later and hopefully by the end of this session, you'll have a better understanding of what that means. So let's have a look at this simple example. We have an array. We store it in this variable called numbers, and then we create a for each loop. So here we're entering, inputting, sorry, the array, and then creating a new variable called value. And then we're echoing out value. And then the BR creates a, a new line for each element or each item that we loop out. So on each iteration of this loop, the value of the current element is assigned to value. So imagine we start off, we iterate through the first time, the first value in numbers is one. So this gets assigned to value. And then we echo out value, which equals one. And then so on. So each time it iterates, um, we advance by one in the array. So the second time this iterates, two is taken from numbers and placed into the variable values, and then we echo out number two, and so on, all the way up until four. So we can now see this code in action. If I press refresh, you can now see that we iterate through the array, one, two, three, four, and we have a BR which represents a new line, so all the numbers are on top of each other. So that was an example of using an array. So this is a simple example of an object. So here we create a new object and we now use the for each, but we now use the, the next syntax or the second syntax that was first introduced. So we have the array expression, the array that um, we've created, or in this case, the object as, and then we define key value and then the statement. So going back here, you can now see the pattern we utilize the array and then we reference it as key value. So key value. So here when we echo out, we can echo out both the key and the value or just the value. So let's just see how or what this looks like. So it should um, output A1 break B2. So I press refresh and you can see that it has indeed outputted A1 and B2. So you can see that was a very simple example there of iterating through an array or outputting an array. Okay, so let's build a simple database and iterate through the information using a for each loop. Um, we're going to make a database called users. And I'm going to make a table called uh, user. And then we'll have two columns. And then just name and age all lowercase. Uh, so we want a varchar and an int. So we'll just have 20 and 20 for now. And then press go, save. So um, now let's just add some information. So name Bob, 70, and then another person, 80. Okay. So now we have a look, we've got two people in our database. So let's try and work out how to uh, iterate through this and output the information to the screen. So after building my database, this is just a simple example here. I've made my configuration for the database. And then obviously I use, uh, in this case, my SQL, my SQLI connect. And then I create a simple query. Um, SQL, select all from the user. So I'm selecting all the 
information from the user table and then collecting the result in the result variable here and then I'll create a, a for each. So you can see here we have result uh, as key. So each time we iterate through, in this case, we specify what information we want from the information. So name and age will match up our database name and age here. So that is a, a simple example then of utilizing a database and just using a for each to iterate through the information from the database. So let's just see this working. So I press refresh and you can see that it outputs the information from the database. So here's an example whereby we can use the for each loop to update an existing array. So we've got a new array here and now I'm going to print it out so we can see the array. There we go. One, two, three, four. Just save that. One, two, three, four. There we go. So now I'm going to create the loop. So for each, uh, and then we've got the array as value. Notice here we're using PHP 7, which I think now utilizes uh, or assigns by reference. Uh, it doesn't use the internal array pointer anymore to advance uh, by one on each iteration. And we're going to basically take the value and then times it by two. And then we're going to print it out again. So let's have a look to see what this looks like. So this is before. And this is after. So notice the numbers have all been times multiplied by two. So once you finish the loop, it is recommended you use unset or you unset the value. Again, because the value will be assigned by reference, it's good to unset it before then creating any more loops. So there we have three practical examples of using for each loop in PHP. I demonstrated some for each loop examples. We utilized the database and also updated the array utilizing the for each loop.